In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can snipe 100 axes the proper way, and I'm also gonna be showing you how you can reduce your fees on bot axe or photon and get faster fills at the same time with lower fees. There's a new bot that came out called Nova, and oh my God, is it insane. And if you pair with bot axe, it is actually just unstoppable. I'm just gonna play this clip from Leans to show how amazing it is. I'm scared, bro. I just top blasted that shit. Oh, can I? Oh, I didn't get a sell in. Fuck. I might have to try to sell a bit. With a bot. So much profits by fucking getting main text. Oh, it, wait, that worked. Wait, oh, that moon. Wait, what? Oh my God, I sold 10 soul. I made seven soul. Oh my God, wait, W. Okay, so I'm gonna get into how you can actually set up Nova for yourself. And I'm actually gonna talk to you. I'm sure you're wondering why I've got all these cell buttons here. That's Nova Click. We're gonna get into that as well. But I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually set it up here. So first of all, you need to go down and click the link in the description to get onto Nova. And that's gonna get you started over here on Nova. And if the link doesn't work and ask for you an access code, just put the code Milliam in. Um, but then you're gonna get uh, access to this. Just go and click slash start. And then you'll see your wallets here. I already have a couple of wallets um, added in, but uh, I'm gonna show you how you can actually add your Bullex wallet and like, this is the most overpowered stuff ever. I'm gonna show you right here. So basically we're gonna use a Bullex wallet so we get all the features of Bullex, you know, as well, Neo Bullex, right? So you can see the dev soul and stuff. And while you, we do this, we're actually gonna be able to see our positions. Even if we buy on Nova, we're gonna be able to see our, our positions and our sales and, our portfolio and all the great things that Bullex has, but we'll get to reduce our fees. So let's actually go in and show this. If we go onto our wallet manager here, um, I've already set up a wallet, but I'm gonna archive this. Okay, so basically you're just gonna go over here and create a new wallet. And this is just gonna be the wallet you import into Nova. Now you need to download the private key, um, which once you click on this icon, you're gonna get um, a list of, I, I, you know what, I'll show my private key because I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this wallet later. All right, so this is my private key. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just put it down into wallets over here. So I might actually move my camera just so you guys can uh, see a little bit better. I'll just put it up here. All right, so we're down here now um, and we're gonna add a new wallet, okay? We're gonna import wallet here. We're gonna name this wallet. So let's just call it tutorial. Um, and we're gonna enter the private key, which is here. So you can just copy and paste it. It's after this colon area. We're just gonna put it in here. And then there you go, Walla has imported successfully. And just like that, we've basically done it. Now we wanna fund this wallet. Now there's many ways you can do that. You can just go over here and copy the wallet address and go to Phantom, fund it the normal way. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go and click on the distribute thing here. And once it goes through, we can go over here and we can click refresh. And yeah, there we go. You can see the tutorial wallet is working. Now let's go on to wallets here and we're just gonna change the default wallet right now to tutorial. And there we go, basically all of our uh, transactions will go through on the tutorial wallet. Okay, now that we have Nova set up, let's actually go into what the best settings are for this. So the default settings are good and they're better than Blacks's, but I would still change them. Now, um, I'm, I've already changed my settings a little bit, so we can actually use some of these, but if we go to fee, I haven't changed these. This is uh, the default fee on uh, Nova, I'm pretty sure. Now this is good, this is already half of what Bullx charges as their normal, but this can still be a little too high. Now this fee here, if you're trading with one Solana per buy, maybe more than that, this is completely fine. Do not change these default fees, it will be the best for you getting fills, but if you are not, I would um, cut these in half, realistically. I would do 0 0.025, and let me just copy that, and we're gonna do that for everything. And that's a pretty, decent way to get fees. Now, if you are trading with lower amounts um, and you're noticing that you're getting eaten up by fees, let's say you're making a profitable trade and you're like, and I'm, I'm, I mean a profitable by a good margin, like you get like a 70% gain on something, you're trading with a decent amount of size and you're still losing out, but put your fees lower. Uh, this one didn't update by the way. Put your fees lower, obviously put these to like 0 0.0000001, but that's only if you're trading with like, let's say 40 to $50 and under, um, per transaction. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would say for you. I don't want you guys getting eaten up by fees. Uh, let's go back to settings and that's our fees done. Now slippage, slippage, they have their slippage automatically set to 50%. Now this, I don't agree with. I think that's a way too high of slippage. Now it's personal preference for everybody, but uh, the buy slippage here, I have on 
Again, this depends on what you're trading with. And I'm going to talk about this in contrast with another setting in a second. But uh, your buy slippage can be anywhere between normally if you have a uh, if you have MEV protection on, should be between like, it can be between 25%, 20% to, to 40%. So this is kind of personal preference. I would say a good one would be, I, I think for me, it's always worked. 23% is what I like. And your sell slippage, I would put this a little bit higher, like 35, just in case you want to get out of something and it's dumping like crazy so you can get your fill. That's what I would personally have as my settings. And this is up to you. Depends what you want to trade with. If you're trading with high market cap coins, Bump your slippage all the way down because they're not going to move as much. If you're trading with lower cap coins, maybe put it higher. Depends on what you want, right? Now over here, this is where we get into the settings that define Nova. This is really cool. We have a buy options. So there is three options and you're going to be automatically set to GDO. Now this GDO option is the slowest. However, it enables MEV protection. Uh, I'm a big MEV, MEV, MEV protection lover, but if you have your slippage low enough, which we're going to go back to slippage here, if you have a GDO on, you can put your slippage to, oh, this is an update, by the way, you can put your slippage to like 30, you know, with slip with um, this on or 35 and you're going to be fine. But if you have my protection off, you need to put this like 15%. So we have this node based one. Now, this is the fastest. This has no map protection at all. And it basically means that your fills are way faster. So this can be great if you're buying into low market cap coins. You should use this. If you're buying into low market cap coins um, with, I'd say, low slippage and under, or, you know, one Solana-ish, that's good for that. I would put your node, I would put it on node for stuff if you're buying like that. But there's also another option and that's ultra um, right at the end here, which is what I would recommend. I would recommend either this you know, it depends on the situation. Ultra, I will explain, I'll, I'll explain Ultra here now. Ultra is basically a mix between the two and it will basically do both transactions and whichever one gets filled first will go through. So it might be met protected, it might not be. Um, that's kind of a simpler way to explain it, but basically it just uses both of them and whichever one gets filled faster, that's the one that will they, they will end up using. Now, as well here, we can go down to the cell. This depends. Um, I never really get um, sold on with uh, um, MEV protection. There is a reverse MEV thing that sells. Um, you can probably keep this on ultra and you're going to be fine. Uh, we can also go down to uh, presets, which is really interesting here. And we can have a uh, sniper or copy trade presets and limit order presets. I'm not going to get right into that right now. Um, but let's go back to settings. Is there anything else we need to go over? We have the wallets here as well. Um, that's just a nice, simple way to get back to your wallets. And we have our default wallet there. Okay. On our quick buy settings, you can see you can just adjust these. It depends what size you're trading. If you're trading, if you only have like two Solana in your account, put this to like, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, one Solana and two Solana. Uh, same here with the, uh, if we go back to the quick sell, you'll see, you know, 25, 50%, 100%. I think these are pretty decent ones, but if you are, you know, if you have something that is, uh, you know, you're, you're aping in stuff low and you either like to full clip it or hold it for a long time, maybe putting this down from 25% to like 15% is better. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I also, if you guys have any recommendations, I know the devs for this. And if you want any quality of life changes, you can literally just leave a comment down below and I will get them sorted personally for you. So yeah, anything like that, let me know. Now that basically wraps up the settings. Let's go into Nova Click. Now, if you guys wanna get this section here where you can buy and you don't have to use Telegram for it, we can do that no problem. If we go over into, um, we go back to uh, start here, you can go onto Nova Click and then you can go and download it here. Now this will bring you to a Chrome extension. Um, basically you can just here and add to Chrome. And then you can go over and click onto the guide if you guys want to read more about it. But I'm going to show you guys exactly how um, how you can set it up. Uh, basically, just add the Chrome extension. I've already got it added. Now, here's the important thing. Make sure it's still disabled, okay? We're going to go onto this link here, the guide link, and we're going to go to uh, setting up and click on this, click.tradeonnova.io. I'll leave it in the description as well. We're going to connect our Telegram here. It's basically just going to go like that. We click start. And then we're going to launch Nova Click. We're going to click on this link and it will connect it, uh, connect our Telegram. You can see it's con connected successfully to Nova Click. And now if we go over onto one of these coins uh, and we go back onto our extension, keep it pinned as well. 
uh, and we enable it, we can see we now have these settings. Now we can just change these. Let's say we had five soul here. We can just save that um, just like that. And then it's buy five soul. You can switch to sell here. You can sell 20%, 50%, 100%. Um, and you can also just go and you know add your own buy amount here. And it's nice having it on this left side, being able to trade like that. But for example, I found a CA address that I think is decent. I'm gonna enter it into Nova Click. And let's go over onto, we have uh, our buy settings actually set up pretty wrong. So let's just put 0 0.2 Solana here. Let's see if we can get in here. And you can see just like that, as quickly as possible. That was nearly instant, right? I just clicked the enter button. It so it, it went in instantly, right? You can see how quick this is because um, it's utilizing the transactions. And then we can still go onto BullX, right? And we can go here and we have our PL change. It shows how much we've invested, how much it's not. We've also got our average price here. So we can still see that. Now I'm just using this for example, like I don't know if this is gonna go up or not uh, realistically, but we could also go on to over, over here and we can uh, click refresh and we can see the balance that we have. Okay, I was just there trying it out, but look, let's say you wanna go over here and you wanna sell. I'm just gonna sell like, I guess 100%, right? Click on that, boom. Look at that. I literally click it, under a second we're filled. You can see it coming up, under a second it's filled like, it is the most instant, instantaneous, instantaneous stuff ever. Okay, we finally bought into something that migrated here. Um, it's hit the migration range, right? It's now migrating. Now we have the snipe option to snipe sell or snipe whatever. I'm gonna do it through um, through uh, Nova because I like the amount of settings we have here. But look, let's put in this contract address. We're gonna click onto Sniper. We're gonna swap uh, the wallet to our tutorial wallet. And we're gonna swap the mode to sell. Okay, now we're on our sell amount. We can have our sell amount 100%, sell slippage 100%. Um, I'm gonna put this sell slippage to 50%. Uh, that's just what I like to do. So that's not, it's, it's less risky, but let's just put it to 50, right? Uh, we have our sell fees on 0 0.005. Now, um, <laughs> you should have it at 0 0.05. I was kind of going for example, like I only have $27 in this, so. 0 0.005, that's gonna eat away at like 10% of my profits. But honestly, the default settings for snipers, they should be this or even higher. Sorry, let me go back to my task. They should be this or even higher in reality. You could even bump this up to 0 0.1 when you're doing it, so you can get the fastest transaction. Now I'm gonna go on to Ultra. Now, uh, we have a low amount, so it's unlikely, like we have under one soul, it's unlikely we're gonna get mevved. Uh, I'm gonna click running on this just in case it migrates while I'm talking, but I'm gonna put it onto the ultra processor, which means it's gonna be the fastest out there. Um, that means we have no map protection, but usually if you have buys that are like 0.5 soul or one soul, like under one soul, under a big amount, it will basically not, oh my God, oh, well it already sold. You can see just like that. I don't know when we sold that. Uh, there, well, there you go, but you can see if I refresh here, I think now it's dipping now, but uh, Bullex is not um, is not updating our sell position for whatever reason. We'll wait for a second. Well, nothing's on the map right now. Uh, let's just refresh again. You can see it was able to sell um, at 13% profit here. Can this update? You can see, look at this. We're able to sell here now. This is pumping up like that, but you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, right, you have a decision here, right? This is just giving you more decisions usually things will either pump right after and you can sell um, and then they'll dump straight after, which is what happened here. It was at the 80K market cap range. It pumped up to like 90K. We ended up getting a good sell in here using the sniping bot. It then dumped down and we we're able to get it here. And now it pumped up again. That's the radium dip. It happens a lot with coins. Um, a lot of coins don't survive the radium dip. It looks like this one's dumping down right now here, but you can see that was it in its example, right? It was able to sell and you saw how fast that was. I was in the middle of talking. We did not even see this migrate to radium and it already sold before it even migrated. Uh, I don't know if we can check. I think the transaction is too far down, but like we were probably one of the like first one or two buys. So if you wanted to get one or two sells, um, if you want to get in like that, it's 100% worth it. You want to sell, you can sell straight after radium, take your profits, 
I'm just saying you should have this added to your thing, into your arsenal if you're trading, especially if you're trading pump fund coins and you also just get lower fees, right? So I don't think that it's just a no brainer if you wanna get into this as well. We can always use um, these things up here to switch to sell, switch to buy. Uh, and they're just less fees, right? And you still get all the benefits of Bolex. You can still get the buy orders, sell orders here. Now I'm, I mean, I only got, I only put in $20 for the tutorial purposes, but you can see what you mean. If you bought in down here, even with, if you bought down here with $20, you would have been up $100 um, up here if you were able to get the sell off with the Nova bot. So that's gonna wrap up all the features that I wanna talk about in this video. Uh, make sure to click the link in the description if you want to try it out. Um, I think you should just, get it anyways because even if you don't use it like it's interesting and they're building stuff and it's very fast and i think anyone that ends up using it won't regret it and people i've talked to so far uh won't regret it it's been amazing anyways that's gonna be the video i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one peace